Ruthless. If you want cheap and reliable free 40 no limit team coins for all platforms, check out MMOJ, link will be in the description. Also in the description is a video proving they are legit. Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and today I've got like a one-off video. It's going to be completely about Manchester United and basically this is a video for everyone really, like mainly Manchester United fans and everything, just to give my thoughts and suggestions for the team and shit like that. So yeah, obviously the loss against Stoke I think is our 8th in the league which is just ridiculous and then our 10th of the season and I think our 5th or 4th, 5th in 2014 right I didn't agree with Moyes' tactics during that game he brought on Welbeck when Phil Jones got stretched off and he should have brought on someone like Darren Fletcher a holding mid we already had Rooney, Van Persie, Mata and Young 4 attackers on the pitch but you know other tactics that he's done like um, tweaking the positions of Yanazai in the Sunderland game when he scored two Stuff like that have worked, right? But the team needs an overhaul, right? If you go back to Sir Alex Ferguson's era, okay? Like, he's using the same crop of players, but there's a difference with Ferguson. He didn't like to spend money. Like, you look at some of the major signings he's done, right? Roy Keane, 3 million was a big money signing back in 2000... I don't even know, was it 19... 98 or 2000, I'm not sure the day, I just know, uh, sorry, the year, I just know how much it was, okay? He bought Vidic for 7 million, okay? The biggest signing he did was Rooney for 30 million from Everton or 24, 30 million, somewhere around that. That was the biggest signing he ever did. He didn't like to spend money, he liked to get cheap players, budget players like Ronaldo cost 12 million, and look at the player he is now, won the Ballon d'Or this year, obviously. His last signing was Zaha for 15 million, um, he just knew how to use the players. I don't think any other manager in the world could take our current crop of players. It's got three world-class players that you could you can call world-class. Two before Mata arrived. So Van Persie, Rooney and Mata are world-class players. The rest of them are bench players at best, to be perfectly honest. With the exceptions of Kagawa, De Gea and Yanazai. Yanazai is an 18-year-old and he's put the shirt Man U jersey on this season and he's been telling most of the senior players like Carrick and Evra how to bloody play football this season. I'm being deadly serious. Carrick and Evra both had stunning seasons under Ferguson last year. They've just been piss poor this season. Carrick's gave away the possession too much or passes it back into midfield. Evra has been very very last on the wing, or, uh, sorry, on the left back position. Obviously, there's been rumours he's been moving to Monaco and shit, so that couldn't have helped, but still, I do like these players and I respect them, but we need replacements. Players we need to sell, right? These players are without a doubt need to go, okay? Cleverly, I don't know why we insist on playing him. I know we've, we've been plagued with injuries, right? But he is just awful. He's awful. You look. It is passing. It is ridiculous. Like I find it so hard to watch Manchester United play recently. In the last four games I've watched them, with the exception of Cardiff. Even then, though, there wasn't a lot of attacking threat. But you know, players like Cleverly, he's useless. He just passes it back into defence. We do not need that. We need attacking threat. He needs to go. Valencia didn't show any of the quality in 2010 and 11 when he was first signed. He just. He's, he's honestly, like a lot of our players this season, he's gone down in form, so he needs to be sold. Welbeck needs to be sold or benched, maybe. He, he can't be starting and he can't, like, his performance in Stoke, he had four touches of the ball in a half an hour of that he'd been played. His first touches were terrible. He had at least one major opportunity to score and completely fucked up his first touch. Honestly, we've got players like Smalling who are just so temperamental. Honestly, like our entire team just needs a workup. That's one good thing I've got to say about Moyes. I always have said I need, I'm going to back Moyes, and I stick to that. But the guy has made some errors that are major. But he needs time. He's shown he's not afraid to spend money, which is brilliant because that means in summer he's even came out and said there'll be more players like Matter 
Matter was 37.1 million, our club record signing. We're linked with players like Tony Cruz, Marco Royce, Ike Gudogin, Arturo Vidal, Paul Pogba, who probably won't come back because we did have him. One of the major mistakes Ferguson made, one of the very few. But, you know, players will come, no matter what people say. If we finish 7th, players will still come. It's Manchester United, okay, it's a huge club. You look at other teams, right? Like Bayern Munich or Real Madrid, right? If they didn't get Champions League, you think players still wouldn't want to play for them? It's what happens in football. You look in history, some teams last like five seasons, whatever, they have a bad season. They don't qualify for the Europe's Cups, for, sorry, for the European Cups, obviously Champions League and Europa League now, and they, the players still go, okay? We just need an overhaul, okay? The players need to show desire. Young is steadily improving but he's had iffy performances so he'd be another one to go one player we need to start playing as soon as he comes back from loan is Wilfred Zaha I watched his Cardiff game oh my god he came off from the bench and I think he assisted two he at least assisted one his technique the way he dribbles the way his vision is perfect right what we need we've got four attacking players and then we've got two in reserve we've got uh, Yanazai, Rooney, Kagawa, sorry, Yanazai, Rooney, Van Persie and Mata. we got Kagawa as well, who should be played, and we've also got Zaha when he comes back, who again, should be played. So we've got six players to rotate there, okay? That's fine, we need some defensive mids. We've been plagued with injuries, fair enough. Marouane Fellaini's been out for God knows how long with a broken wrist, which is unfortunate, and I hate the people who say he's shit, okay? He's never had any support since joining Manchester United. The pressure's always been on. Fair enough, he hasn't done a lot, but I think he's had something like seven games, okay? Now the pressure's going to be off because Matt is there and he can handle the player and uh, the pressure, so hopefully Marouane Fellaini will come good. Michael Carrick's getting on and I don't think he's going to be at the club very much longer. Same as players like uh, Rio Ferdinand, all that, okay? Cleverly is dog shit, he needs to go. Fletcher, again getting on, plagued with injuries last season. He's, he's just not that creative in attack, he's a good DM, okay, good strong, he'll see us through this season, but next season we need someone like Vidal or Good Doggin, who's got that attacking premise as well as defensive, okay, Moyes again needs to sort out his tactics, especially his training regimes, because that's what's causing a lot of our injuries, and I didn't agree when he replaced Mike Phelan, is it? And Rain Melenstein, something like that. I, I don't really know their names. I just roughly know them, if that makes sense. He replaced them with Steve Round, Jimmy Lermston, or something like that, and Chris Woods, I believe, who are good, yeah. A manager is entitled to bring which coach, coaching, shop, coaching staff he wants, but leaving a senior in there would have been a good option. Obviously, we've got gigs in the coaching staff. Coaching in the coaching staff now which may help but again he's unproven yes he's a brilliant player but he's unproven we need a Paul Scholes okay as soon as he left honestly we haven't had a replacement centre mid we need another one who's tactically tactically creative he's just a rock in midfield he's brilliant okay you look at seasons ago we did have some beastie players we had Ronaldo, Tevez, Rooney we had a whole host of them and then come 2010, everyone wrote us off because Ronaldo, Tevez left. Everyone thought, oh, they're going to be dog shit. We won the league. Then we were unlucky not to win the league. Then we won it again. Lost it again. Won it again. We came in the final of the Champions League. We won the Champions League just before then, obviously. Before these players left, we won the treble and came in two Champions League finals. But after that, everyone wrote us off and we won two league titles and came in one more Champions League. That is down to Ferguson, no other manager, no matter what people say, could have hoped to achieve what Ferguson did with the batch of players he had. Moyes, the one quality he really does have is he spends money, he's not afraid to do that and that's one thing we need to do. He needs to be given time, his tactics are a bit wayward but he needs time, okay, I know sounds like a broken record but... United fans who are new are just used to glory. I'm a new United fan and I'm used to glory, okay? But I understand a transitional period takes time. Chelsea got lucky with theirs as they won the Champions League. If they didn't qualify for the Champions League, they would have taken a lot longer to get to where they are now. Man City, since 2008, which is when they started, when their Arab owners came in, I think, and they started spending money, have won one title and one trophy. Okay, Ferguson... 
was just beast, but we cannot replicate that, okay? We need an overhaul, and we need, the senior players need to start playing, like, players like Carrick and Evra need to show the class they did last season, players like Vidic and Ferdinand as well, and younger players like Welbeck and Smalling need to be benched, and we need to start playing decent formations, like a good formation for us at the minute, okay, would be something like, let's think of this, well, ideally at the end of the season when Zaha comes back he would be in it, but at the minute would be someone like when Fellaini's back, Fellaini and Carrick as DMs have Mata as a central mid, maybe, I don't know actually, Okay, scratch that, okay, scratch that, book that, I've got a new formation, right? You have two centre-backs, doesn't matter who they are, maybe Vidic and Smalling, okay? Then you have two right wing-backs, sorry, two wing-backs, so you've got Evra, then you've got Raphael, who is a bit shaky, but he's young and he's been at least showing some, like, threat, uh, not like the rest of our defence, but have a DM in the middle who's just ahead of the centre-backs, Someone like Bellini or Carrick, okay? Then just ahead of them, you've got Yanazai and Kagawa as two centre attacking mids. Kind of centre mids, centre attacking mids, if that makes sense. Then have Mata as a centre attacking mid slash centre forward with Van Persie and Rooney up front. So it's like kind of a, it's a weird formation, but I suppose it's a kind of very attacking 4 1 2 1 2. But honestly, just use the players, Kagawa's being benched for no reason whatsoever, he's not getting the chance to develop. Players like Yanazai, who are 18 years old, have to pick up our team. We should be contesting for more than what we are. Yes, we've been unlucky, but seriously, the players need to show devotion. One player who has is obviously Wayne Rooney. He's been fantastic this season. And yes, sign him for 312000 a week, he's worth that to us, he's been doing so much. Yes, we've been unlucky with certain things like last minute equalisers, we hit the post a lot, we've like been plagued with injuries, but it happens to most teams and we just need to deal with it and get on, we need to get some performances. Next game is Fulham at home, if we drop points against that, then there's no hope of us getting Champions League, I'm afraid. Like. Dropping points against lesser teams like that is just pitiful. Arsenal, we need to make a statement. If we can beat them, since we beat them once already this season, that will boost a lot of the critics and it will give Moyes some encouragement. But he needs to, like, sort out his tactics and soon. This season, I don't expect much. I just want Champions League football. Fourth is fine. Fifth and sixth is okay. Second season, he needs to start building his team. And if by the third season, there's no improvement, he needs to go. And at least by then, we should have more players, like Royce, Gundogan, Vidal, whatever, to give a new manager, instead of the crop that, um, what do you call it, Moyes was left with. He was left to pick up the pieces. I know we just won the title, but... Ferguson was just an unbelievable one-of-a-kind manager and it's going to take something special for anyone to match that so yeah Moyes was left with a team that is average at best and he's done well to sign Mata well that wasn't really him it was Ferguson and um, oh, I forgot his name someone else who signed him but anyway at least he's got him and we just need to show more attacking threat maybe cross the ball in low instead of doing high crosses or play down the middle or long balls like Stoke City bypass the midfield because we don't have a midfield at the minute it's plagued with injuries and it's fucking horseshit with players like Cleverly and Valencia in it at the minute but yeah that's just been my little rant I really do hope we improve obviously most teams don't want us to because we've been such a threat for so many seasons but yeah this has just been a little rant by me just to give my views out so yeah if you do agree with me or you don't, just comment down in the description what you thought of this if you and what team you support as well. Make sure you put that um, so I know that. And yeah, if you have enjoyed them, please do hit the like button. It really does help my channel. Subscribe for daily FIFA 14 content. Remember to check out MMOJ, look up in the description for cheap reliable FIFA 14 Ultimate Team Coins. And yeah, peace.